Uh, hi everyone, I'm just going to introduce myself. Ani Wache, Bojo, Nimki Vinishi and Dao, Megazay Dodem, Natalie and Dejnikosh, Mishkega Wakdunjaba. I'm Thunderbird, I'm from the Eagle Clan. My given name is Natalie and I'm from Moose Factory. I'll just let Cynthia um, introduce herself and then I'll put my uh, PowerPoint up. Ani Bojo, um, my name is Cynthia Belfort. I'm the Indigenous Counselor at the Indigenous Student Affairs Office. Um, and I've been there for about nine years. I'm Mi'kmaq um, from Nova Scotia Territory. Okay, so who are we? We represent the Indigenous Student Affairs Office at Laurentian University. Uh, it's located uh, under the Parker Building, across from the atrium and across from the hub. Okay, so as I introduce myself, um, my name is Cynthia, and part of my role in the Indigenous uh, Student Affairs Office as the counselor is to work one on one with the Indigenous students um, and provide personal, academic, and career counseling. Um, I also organize several events and workshops throughout the year, so a couple of them will highlight um, through the slide. I'm also trained in the ASSIST, so the Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training, so I deliver that uh, campus-wide. Um, also the Mental Health First Aid First Nations training um, and the Inquiring Mind, as well as the Kairos. Um, some of the training might be on hold this semester just because of the pandemic, but um, you can watch our social media for when those are going to be launched. In our office, we have a learning strategist. Her name is Reina Davio. Um, she provides students with academic writing supports and strategies. Uh, she does one-on-one -on -one sessions with students. Students can email or contact her um, via phone and, and discuss their paper and see um, where they need to touch up and learn about the APA format. Um, she does time management, so she does a, a little calendar with students that shows the academic year and breaks it down of when their assignments are due. Um, and how they can manage their time. Uh, she also goes into classes and liaises with uh, faculty and staff um, to make sure that the students are being supported. Um, and she also organizes and delivers STEM, um, so science, technology, engineering, and math academic workshops for students. And back to me, um, as I said before, I'm Natalie Lacoste. Uh, I'm the Indigenous Community Outreach and Liaison Coordinator. Um, my main focus is doing Indigenous recruitment. So I tour around with a group called APSIP, which is the Aboriginal Post-Secondary Information Program. Uh, we tour all over Ontario and uh, last year, none of it. Um, I uh, disseminate the information about Laurentian to uh, prospective students. Um, it's an amazing job. I love doing it. I also liaison with uh, different uh, secondary schools and post-secondary um, institutions. Um, I also provide tours of the Indigenous Sharing and Learning Center along with uh, Laurentian as a whole. So if you see me um, in the hallways, if we ever get back to campus, <laughs> um, just uh, wave and say hi. I'm pretty friendly. <laughs> So what's happening at the Indigenous Student Affairs? I will tell you. Uh, we have uh, mental wellness um, and support workshops. Uh, we understand that going into university uh, for the first time can be a little difficult. Uh, so we have self-care, budgeting, uh, stress management, bursary support, which is really important. I really wanna highlight the bursary aspect. There's so many bursaries out there that people don't apply for uh, and it's free money guys. So apply, apply, apply. Uh, we also have uh, healthy relations and uh, substance misuse or disorder. Uh, and all these workshops can be found on your D2L. Um, Cynthia, would you like to talk about the academic support workshops? Yeah, sure. So again, uh, looking at time management and organization, um, learning skills and strategies, uh, goal setting strategies. So helping you achieve your goal while you're at Laurentian University and how you want to achieve that goal. Um, reading and writing skills workshops, essay writing and formatting, how to use the D2L because D2L can be confusing for some students. So um, Rena can go over a little D2L uh, explanation. Um, and also again, talking with faculty and staff um, and bringing our, making sure that they know about our services and where to refer Indigenous students. Sorry guys, I just paused. 
Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My internet just went a little wonky. Okay. Um, at the Indigenous Sharing and Learning Center, we also have women's and men's drum circles. Um, unfortunately, we don't have them up and running right now uh, due to COVID-19. However, we are uh, trying to develop a way in which we can uh, drum together. It is a little hard drumming over uh, Zoom just because it's so loud. It kind of uh, breaks, the, breaks the speakers. <laughs> um, but um, you can uh, log on to our Facebook page and we'll have up to, um, updates on that. Um, one of the events that we're really proud of is the Orange Shirt Day. Um, for those of you who do not know, Orange Shirt Day um, represents Every Child Matters. It's a campaign to create awareness surrounding um, the experiences of the children in the residential school systems. Uh, this campaign was created out of the story of uh, Phyllis Webstead, um, who attended a residential school, and when she was six years old, um, had her new orange shirt um, that was given to her by her grandmother uh, violently taken away. Um, so uh, you might see things on Facebook or on the social media, or if you are on campus, um, people wearing orange shirts on September 30th. Um, I would ask that you help support uh, the Orange Shirt Day and wear an orange shirt if you can. Uh, we also have an Indigenous student celebration in the fall and in the spring. Um, this is the time to celebrate the achievements of our Indigenous students. Um, it's not an easy task to graduate uh, from university and we like to commend our students. Uh, we normally get them to come into our round room, which is a beautiful space that we hold at the Indigenous Sharing and Learning Centre. And uh, we have uh, a graduate ceremony for them in which they get to uh, have their family and friends come by and uh, we acknowledge their success. This is one of the funner things that we get to do at the Indigenous Sharing and Learning Center. Um, it's called the Indigenous Sharing and Learning Center Half Nighter. Uh, it used to be a full night. Um, it's to raise uh, awareness and importance for self-care and healing for Indigenous students. Um, this is a time when we get together with our students and we help them with homework. We do fun activities. Um, it's more of a mental health um, activity that we do with our students um, along with helping with their homework because we know that this is a time of the year that um, they're bombarded by a lot of work so we do have staff and Cynthia is great with this uh, with this event um, we also have um, we hold one of these in November we also hold one at the end of uh, March and Cynthia do you want to talk about the virtual aspect of this this year yeah, so this year we're going to look at holding it virtually and looking at having breakout rooms where students can maybe go into different rooms and engage um, with different activities such as beading, um, maybe creating a vision board, uh, maybe even just doing like a study group. Um, so we're going to we're going to look at that and see what that's going to look like. It probably won't be a half nighter this year virtually, but it will be a good couple hours where students can come together and just um, and, and just see one another because they're working from remotely. So they're not used to being away from their peers. Um, if anybody's gone into our di Indigenous center, you'll notice that it's always alive. Um, there's students there always sitting around tables, laughing, eating. Um, it's just a, a really big community um, in our center. And so this year, uh, we're hoping to do this virtually just so that we can bring that energy back to our students who are studying virtually. We also hold an event called the Louis Riel Day. Uh, this includes educational presentations and create awareness surrounding all the life of uh, the Métis hero, Louis Riel. In the same hand, we also have the Métis Cultural Day. Uh, this day is to honor the um, distinct culture and language of the Métis people in uh, Canada. Um, last year, we had some people that came over and did some jigging, which was amazing. Um, you get the spoon. Um, the spoon instruments, <laughs> sorry, uh, and traditional foods and um, finger weaving demonstrations. Uh, we also have a career fair um, each winter where the Indigenous Student Affairs um, holds information um, fair that connects Indigenous students with potential employers. Um, you are more than welcome to come and attend this as well. Uh, it's good to see what type of um, careers there are out there pertaining to Indigenous uh, studies. Uh, this is another uh, important uh, event that we hold. It's the Red Dress Campaign. Uh, it takes place on February 14th. 
Uh, the Red Dress Campaign creates awareness for the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls in Canada. Uh, this is a current and relevant issue that is uh, plaguing Canada at the moment. Um, so if you're on campus, you may see red dresses hanging up in trees, um, and this is what this um, is about. Uh, we're just trying to raise awareness, um, so we do install red dresses all along the road going up to the campus. Uh, the next day we normally have the, or sorry, in February we have um, the Moosehide campaign. Um, and the Moosehide campaign uh, gives men the opportunity to participate in fasting, sharing teachings. And this is to show support against um, standing up against violence towards women. So the Moosehide campaign and the Red Dress campaign kind of go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Indigenous Student Celebration, I went over that earlier. This is the spring one that we have. And checking out more amazing things virtually on campus. There we go. Uh, we have the Indigenous Student Circle. Uh, if you would like to become an ally to the Indigenous Student Circle, um, I will put up the information in the chat for you guys. Um, our Indigenous Student Circle um, normally has fundraising events and um, cool activities that you could be a part of, um, but I will put that link in the chat for you guys. And some important announcements. Um, the Indigenous um, Sharing and Learning Center is inclusive to all students. You are more than welcome to come into our center. If you're not Indigenous, that's no problem. Um, we love having allies and we love people coming in to learn uh, about our culture and our languages. Um, we do ask uh, that if you come into our center that you use reusable cups and bottles. Um, we have things called feasting kits. Um, whenever we have big meals at the center, we ask people to bring in plates, uh, their own cutlery, um, cups and such uh, so they're not using disposable items. We also ask that people try not to use single-use masks um, and that you use um, what a fabric one that you've created or that you've bought. Um, we also have uh, people working on food sovereignty projects. Um, we do have a beautiful medicine garden uh, so we're, we're kind of reclaiming the outdoor space in the back there. Um, so if you have any questions about Indigenous medicines, we can definitely um, show you the actual medicine itself and the proper use for it. And if you want to stay up to date with any of our current events, um, you can just email isa at laurentian.ca. Uh, this is also the way if you'd like to use our space. Um, we have set out our tables um, two meters apart and we have um, safety precautions set in place. But if you would like to use our center, we just ask um, that you email us and um, save a space for yourself. We are doing a lot of really fun and cool things um, coming up soon. So if you'd like to follow us, uh, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, so please, um, please feel free to follow us. Okay, miigwech. Thank you. Miigwech everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the center. <laughs>